welcome to Insider's Insights. I'm Jenner Maher, Business Development Consultant at Charlie Bravo Aviation. And today I have the pleasure of speaking with Thomas Mahoney. It's great to have you, Tom. Tom is an aviation veteran and has a depth of industry knowledge. Having overseen government relations and sales at the executive level in aviation, and more recently transitioning to the role of pilot, Tom is well-versed and has a lot to add to our discussion today. Tom, is there anything specific you want to highlight about your background? It's just been a, a great career. I've been fortunate to be in all aspects, whether it be on the business side or now to be fortunate enough to be considered a professional pilot. It's, uh, it's been a great journey and I look forward to uh, the future. So that's what I'd have to add. Excellent. I think I was told that you've gathered about 250 hours in the last three months flying. How long have you been flying? How many hours do you have? And which aircraft have you flown? I started flying when I was 13, uh, like a lot of guys and gals who are passionate about aviation. Uh, started my original passion was with model airplanes when I was five. And then at 13, one of the guys I was teaching how to fly models was a pilot. So I went for a ride and that journey has just continued now for 43 years. I hate to say I'm 57 years old. Uh, I have 4,500 4, hours now. Um, not a lot in, in professional terms, but in the last, I would say two and a half years, I've amounted about a thousand hours in training, uh, at flight safety in the simulator and about 350, 400 hours in the 900 EX easy. And then the seven X eight X of which specifically I've done 250 hours in the last three months between the seven X and eight X. I was sure it's almost wow. close to the 300 hours now. Yeah. Quite a bit in the last three months. Okay, well, on that note, let's talk about the performance of the 7X and the 8X. How do those aircrafts perform in comparison to one another? And what missions do you typically see flown? Well, for, for me, I've been fortunate. The 7X, I've been working for a charter operator, so we do a wide variety of missions, whether it be short legs, short legs for repositioning, then picking up and going coast to coast, and then finishing you know, at a, at a different location, pre-positioning for... Uh, another flight. So I see everything from short one, short runways, high, hot, and heavy destinations to uh, your typical um, corporate aviation type destinations, whether it be Teterboro or Van Nuys. Um, the 8X that I fly is a private individual and it's a destination aircraft. And we tend to go to places you dream about. And so that's interesting because they're not always in the uh, I would say the most accessible area. So uh, that airplane does a, a great job with its performance and runway performance, as well as high, hot, and heavy capabilities. We've done okay. everything from Hawaii in the last few weeks to um, just short pages from Arizona back up into uh, Colorado. So again, two very, very similar airplanes, but yet they, they do some things uh, a bit differently than the, the 7X than the 8X. So uh, I can't say anything bad about either one. Thanks so much for joining me, Tom. We are always looking to hear from our other insiders. If you own, pilot, manage, finance, maintain, or insure aircraft, we want to hear your insights. Visit wepush10.com slash insider insights to submit what you love or hate about any aircraft.